can't wait to have more silly ventures with you for the rest of our lives and to see what else God has in store for us. commit to building a life with you and to being a good father to our future children. And I'm happy that I get to share this moment with my best friend. Thank you all for coming. I know this is the first kickoff event for everyone here. So let's give a round of applause for the Camarao Bernardo wedding. It's been a while since we felt the way we did. I think I'd like to tell the story of when Billy first announced that he was dating Stell. He comes home for a visit and he goes, guys, you know, I've started seeing this girl. And I really like her. And he shows us her picture and collectively the whole table goes, that can't be your girlfriend. <laughs> and it took some convincing, but he finally brings her around. And I think I actually pulled Stell away. And I go, Stell, are you sure about this? Like, I feel like you could do a lot better. So Billy and Stell, I would love to have been a fly on the wall to witness all the miracle moments, how God drew your lives together. It wasn't by chance, but I believe the one who knew all along drew you together. Our first lunch in San Francisco was at the Taqueria, and the way that Billy looked at Stell was the same way he looked at those tacos. <laughs> And I'm just like, I like this guy. Christelle, Angela, Conti, Bernardo. I've been thinking about what I would say on my wedding day for a long time, since I was a young adult. But more than anything, I'm beyond happy that I'm here right now with you and can't stop smiling. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, okay. I am overjoyed. When I'm dry, no one Stell in his life makes him feel happy, complete, grateful, and better about life and himself. As some of you know, Billy had, had some serious ups and downs in his 27 years. Billy's life was reasonably stable until disease ravaged his mom. He was 16 years old and his sister was 12 years old. His entire world changed. So Billy shouldered his schoolwork, cooking, and parenting at 16 years of age. He may have resented all of the responsibility, but he was never one to complain. My mom's dying words was she wanted me to be happy, and my grandmother wanted me to find someone who I would let take care of me. I remember sitting in the park with you in Urbana shortly after we first met, <laughs> and you were glowing with the sun behind you. I saw how you treated others, people, and how you always made the room feel warmer, which made me fall more in love with you. Hmm? Can I turn around? <laughs> yes. Hmm? Wow! <laughs> you look amazing. 
Mm. You know, I first met you in my last semester of college. There was a lot of uncertainty for me then, and I was hesitant to start dating you. Even when I told you and was adamant that I didn't want to have a boyfriend at that time, you stayed by my side, and I'm so glad you did. <laughs> If you've been lucky enough to know the bride yourself, you know she has the most beautiful soul. She is authentic in every way, loyal, trustworthy, extremely positive, and the glue of our family. So it was no surprise that when Billy came into my Atichi's life, he instantly fell for her. You always ask why I love you. I'm not eloquent, but in short, when I'm with you, I feel loved, safe, warm, and protected. For all these feelings and much more, I love you. Trisha and Billy, your separate life journeys began in different parts of the world, more than 8,000 miles apart. God has willed to bring you together. It is now both your job to stay together. I also wanted to tell Trisha how lucky she is to have Billy as her husband and partner in life. Growing up, I didn't expect that I would end up finding a partner who will provide me with the same love, care, and affection for my own future family. God has given me the biggest blessing in my life, and that is you. I'm so happy that we get to celebrate our love again today and be surrounded by the people we love most this time around. <laughs>